and you look at uh, social media, I think is a really interesting case because DARPA was running a program called LifeLog. And the whole purpose of LifeLog was to have the, the study participants, um, you know, their only source of news and interaction would come through this, this social media platform mm -hmm. that uh, where they, they, they talk to people, they, they share articles, they're only allowed to get news from this platform. And it, as analysts were looking at this data, and this is like, what, 2005, 2006, this is like when my space... Can I jump in? That's wild about LifeLog and DARPA's fingerprints on text roots. Social media platforms like that could totally shape how people see the world, narrowing their lens and maybe even their moral compass if the algorithm's curating their reality. It ties back to your point about teaching kids to think without tech first. If we're just handing over iPads and letting algorithms raise us, are we losing the ability to question or build our own values? Travis, how do you see that government tech link playing into moral decline? I feel like governments always use technology control. Mm -hmm. And what I'm curious about now is now that technology is evolving so quickly, I don't know if they even know how to control it. Mm 